All right, High Rollers, earlier today we brought you Dart's most controversial opinions according to a Twitter thread by our friend at the Henry Cheel. Well, he may be banned by Twitter, but the Rocky of Darts has responded with his top 10 tungsten takes. And as always, he's pulling no punches, first with a right-left combo, then bam, 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 knockout. Did he answer the bell? Controversy. Aki Balboa today on High Roller Radio. Yes, it got a ton of responses. This tweet right here from Henry Cheel, a former guest and the man behind Autism and Darts dot wordpress dot com at autism and darts on twitter reply with your most controversial darting opinions he tweeted you can check out our report already posted on our youtube channel high roller radio tv and please folks if you haven't already subscribed we'd love for you to do so as the kids would say smash that red button all right aki balboa banned by twitter but alive and well on Facebook. My controversial opinions he shared. Number one, the BDO was right not to take Barry Hearn up on his offer back in 2010. A decade ago, Sunday, January 31st, the BBC had the story. The British Darts Organization has rejected a buyout offer from the Professional Darts Corporation. That story featuring pics of Phil Taylor and Martin Adams. A big fat no from the BDO counties was a leap into the unknown, Balboa said. Number two, the BDO's best period since 2002 was from 2016 to 2019. The problem, the PDC had an excellent period as well, so not many people noticed until the players moved to the PDC. Incidentally, the BDO World Champions those years, Scott Waits in 2016, and then Glenn Durant thrice does, of course, hoisting the trophy three years running. Number three, the European Tour is overrated, he said. Much prefer the Pro Tour. Now, personally, I love the Pro Tour, but I love the Euro Tour as well. Great action, great crowds, great drama. Number four, Gabrielle Clemens will win a major once some normality kicks in again, he said, and I'd love to see it for the big man. Speaking of the German giant, how about number five and one of his compatriots? Big uppercut here from Rocky. Max Hop overrated, he said. Not so sure about that, my friend. He's pretty good. He's young. He's the maximizer, baby. Number six, Rob Cross has an ugly action and will only get worse. And by the time he is 40, will struggle to get a tour card. At seven, jab, jab, left hook. Rocky suggesting that Josh Payne, Joe Cullen, and Willie O'Connor have all peaked and will not bother the trophy engravers whatsoever for majors or TV events. This must have been a tough one for Aki to put down. I'm glad the BDO is no more, he said. His Twitter banner, remember, used to say Lakeside, home of proper darts. Wow. Number nine, the PDC home tour was worse than the modus and remote at-home comps. What do you think, High Rollers? You agree with that? Careful, Rocky can go the distance. We all know that. And at 10, drum roll please, Martin Adams would have won a major if he switched to the PDC between 2000 and 2012. And after watching his at-home performance the past few weeks, there is no doubt about it in my mind. Here they are again. What do you think, High Rollers? Drop us a line. Do you agree or disagree with Aki Balboa, the Rocky of Darts? By the way, for the record, Henry Cheel, who shared the original thread that led to this, did respond on Facebook with a yes or no to all 10 points. Still the champ, folks. Banned, but not beaten. Aki Balboa today on High Roller Radio.